This is the Uhomi ice maker that pumps out about 100 pounds of ice a day. Uh, I've been very happy with this unit. I've made a couple of videos on it where you get an E2 error, but for the most part, uh, for three years, this thing has cranked out uh, a ton of ice for our family. There's five people in our family. Uh, we take ice out of this thing several times a day each. Um, so it's, uh, it's a requirement for our household. Anyways, after three years, this thing finally has died. I'm pretty sure the problem is that the um, refrigerant has leaked out. Uh, it's not out of refrigerant, it can still make ice, but it's no longer getting warm enough for it to release from the tray. Uh, so it just constantly throws E2 errors, essentially after every batch. Um, if I wanted to fill it back up, uh, I probably could look into it, talk with the Uhomi support team. But essentially, uh, the price of these things has actually come down from about four to five hundred dollars to about I think I bought another one for two fifty. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to pull this unit out, and uh, the new one has just arrived. So I'm going to install the new one. I've gotten a lot of questions on how you install one of these things, and so I'm just going to make a short video on how I do that. Uh, there used to be a dishwasher here, so there was a line uh, which was the drain line for the dishwasher that goes to the sink that's right up here. Uh, and then I tapped into uh, a water line to run water to this unit. So I'll show you all of that uh, after I pull this out. Before I pull the unit out, I did flip down this drain tube to let all of the water out of the uh, uh, reservoir for the ice maker. I've got it unplugged. These things aren't too heavy. Okay, I am underneath the sink and I just want to show you, uh, I do have a water line running to my ice maker and this is the uh, hose that runs to the, to the cold water line um, up above to the sink and um, I, I tapped in a line right here uh, that runs um, over to my ice maker that's on the other side of that wall. Now, uh, I do need to shut off the cold water. Uh, so there my spigot. Okay, with that water line off, we can now unplug the water line from the ice maker. Behind the unit, uh, there's a little blue clip. We're gonna pull that out. So to remove the water line, you want to push this outer housing in and then pull your water line out. It's kind of a pain in the butt. The new one should have another clip, but I'll save this just in case. All right, now I'm going to remove this little piece of tubing here because this is my drain for the ice bin. And this tube fits nicely into the condensate pump that I use to drain. I'll show you that in a bit. Get up that water. All right, I can now get this thing out of the way. Before I move the new one into place, let me just show you what is going on behind the scenes in my unit. First of all, uh, as I showed you before, I ran a water line from the sink right next door uh, through the cabinet and um, strapped an inline filter uh, to the side of the wall. And then I've got plenty of tubing coming down to hook up to my uh, inlet line for the ice maker. Secondly, this ice maker does, um, as the ice melts, uh, it does require a drain line. So I do not have a drain in the floor where this ice maker is positioned. So what I did was I purchased uh, a condensate pump and so I'm gonna run a drain line into this actually into that hole over there and then as this uh, little basin fills up it'll trigger it and then the water will be pumped through that clear hose right there uh, over to the sink and I'll show you where that's tapped in that's the same connection type that you're gonna have with any dishwasher that's gonna be next to your sink and uh, conveniently, there's uh, plenty of electricity behind it uh, to plug in both the ice maker and the condensate pump. So that is uh, how mine is set up. And I'll just show you that tap 
over to the sink uh, if uh, you're doing this yourself. You can see right there, that is where I've attached the uh, drain line from that condensate pump. And I kind of showed you before, I tapped into my cold water supply, um, which I have off right now in order to feed the uh, ice maker. All right, this is the ice maker. Uh, pretty easy to move it around with a dolly. Uh, it weighs about 66 pounds. So I did want to get it as close as I can uh, before I open this thing up. So we will unpack it now. All right, here's the back of the new ice maker. We need to remove this plug because I am gonna have a drain line. And I'm going to very carefully cut the zip tie. And then I need to remove this piece of tape and this little blue clip. Now, one thing I do see is a little dent in the sheet metal right here. Uh, but uh, it looks kind of cosmetic, so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, install it anyways. But I'll make a note of it. One thing I did off camera is I did take apart that uh, condensate pump and just cleaned everything out inside it. Uh, not a lot of mold, really just uh, dust and debris that's built up over the last couple months. I do clean um, the condensate pump probably what, once a year and um, try to clean out the ice maker every couple months, just shut it down, uh, wipe it all down, maybe a little vinegar, um, and clean it all up. All right, now I'm gonna hook up the water line. Uh, I am gonna give this a fresh cut because um, I did kind of pull on it with pliers and I, I don't want there to be any sort of leak. So I'm gonna do a very clean 90 degree cut. Good. All right, now with the water lot with this little inlet pushed in, I'm going to push that as far in as I can. There we go. And then I'm going to pull this plastic out, which is going to hold it in tight. And then slip in this little blue, if I can pick it up. There we go. I'm going to slide this blue tab back in now. That hose should be in there good. This is a good time to make sure it doesn't leak, so I will turn the water back on now. All right, I've got the water back on and there's no leak, so we're good to go. So the next thing I'm gonna do is attach that uh, outlet tube that's gonna run into my condensate pump. All right, so this is gonna be pointing down. So I'm just gonna insert it like that. Get that clip over there. And then just tighten it.
So at this point, all that's left to do is maneuver it back in and then uh, hit the on button. Got it in place and I just got the feet leveled. So we can go ahead and turn it on. Bunch of spare parts. When you buy the U Homey unit, there are a few items included uh, a scoop. I actually replaced mine with a metal one because I do like to break it up and I think this thing would break. Uh, there was a drain line uh, that was included, although I kind of functioned my own with that condensate pump. And I had an existing water line, but they do supply some tools uh, and some parts for you to uh, hook up a water line to it as well. Once my ice maker is all set up, uh, this is what it looks like behind the scenes. There she goes.